Welcome back, Canonites. As if today wasn't awesome enough, on top of the Vidoc, GameSpot released a ton of information on leaders for Halo Wars 2 multiplayer. From the beta, we know both Captain Cutter and Atriox are leaders, but there were two locked slots for each side, leading to tons of speculation. On the UNSC side, I would wager a hefty sum that one of the slots will be Anders, since she was a leader in Halo Wars 1 and is returning for Halo Wars 2. But today we can confirm that one of those slots belongs to the new AI, Isabel, service number ISA-1307-2. Isabel is a non-military AI, possibly the first encountered in a Halo title, who managed logistics at a UNSC base on the Ark. When the Banished attacked, her base was destroyed and her friends were slaughtered. She has since sworn revenge on the Banished. In the game's story, Isabel will act as the Spirit of Fire's connection to the post-war galaxy, filling them in on what they missed in the last 28 years and, presumably, filling players in on what the UNSC was up to on the Ark. You know, besides just studying it. Isabel is said to be three years into her life cycle, which puts her creation somewhere around 2555 or 56, depending on what month she was created in and what month Halo Wars 2 is set in. Given her age, it seems possible that she was created specifically for operations on the Ark since the UNSC started setting up shop in 2555. What will be really interesting, for me at least, is whether she knows about the whole created fiasco. Given that her service seems to be strictly on the Ark and depending on when the Banished attacked, she may have missed out on it wholesale. While I doubt the created story will come into play during the core campaign, we do know that there will be story DLC down the line, so maybe it could come into play during that. On the Banished side, we have two leaders being revealed, starting with the Brute known as Decimus. Decimus is your basic Brute to the core. He's mean, he's ruthless, he's bloodthirsty, all the horror stories Marines tell each other about the Brutes rolled into a single package. I bet that's what those big monkey-looking Brute things are. They're us, man! They're us! Turn cubby and fighting ourselves, man! Oh, God! During his time with the Covenant, he took a particular pleasure in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the significantly weaker humans. Decimus never really questioned the Covenant during his time, not until Atriox rebelled. Believing might makes right, Decimus pledged himself to Atriox and hasn't looked back since. Having always resented the Songheili, Decimus takes a particular pleasure in ordering them around and sending them on dangerous, even suicidal missions. Our final leader today is Shipmaster Let Valir. This is the one that really caught my eye and answers the burning question on everyone's mind, why are Songheili working with the Jeral Hanai? In the final days of the Human Covenant War, Let, like many Sangheili, was at a loss. He had been betrayed by his leaders, his faith had been revealed as a lie. In the wake of all that, he kept true to the one thing he had left, keeping his crew together and alive. Let swore an allegiance to Atriox in exchange for fuel and supplies. It's an arrangement that Let certainly does not like, especially given the historical sunghili jerl Hanai relationship. But for Let, there is no other choice. It makes you wonder how Let found himself in this position. Did he simply get left behind during the Great Schism? Does he know of the turmoil on Sun Helios? These are questions I hope we learn the answers to, either in the game or in ancillary materials. Let's ship is called Enduring Conviction, an irony Atriox loves to point out. Most likely, Enduring Conviction is the CAS assault carrier we see in the Halo Wars 2 Vidoc. Looking over the armor, it kind of looks like a streamlined version of the traditional combat harness, but what really stands out is the helmet, which looks like a smaller version of the Counselor helmet from Halo 2. I have to wonder if this armor was given to Let by Atriox, or if it was an actual combat harness used by the Covenant. Hopefully Grimm will have some answers for us, you know, closer to Halo Wars 2's release. Side note, we have seen a Sangheili Honor Guard in one of the gameplay images. Since it wasn't a unit available to Atriox during the beta, I have to wonder if it's a hero unit for Let Valir. Anyway, that's it for this video. I am so hyped for Halo Wars 2. Sad to think that we have another month to wait, but with everything we've seen, I think it's going to be worth the wait. Plus, we have another beta coming to hold us over, so that'll help. Anyway, thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.